Blessed day to the people that I serve. Just want to share with my social media friends, people that I serve, on a topic. We have done some work on it previously, but I just want to elaborate on it, let it a little clearer for my people. The subject we discussed was the best cars to buy in 2023. What we're saying, the only person who can determine the best car for you to buy is you. Only you know what you want. Nobody can know what you want. Your experience, it's your experience. I can't use my experience and make a good decision for you because my experience is my experience and your experience is your experience. And the only person who can influence your experience or satisfy your experience is you. So the only person who know the car that you want is you. What I can do is just to share information with you so that you are more knowledgeable so you can make a better or more informed decision. And I just want to share with you when somebody said the best car to buy, what does that mean? Does a brand make the car good? I, I don't really think it's a brand that makes a car good. I think one of the things that make cars good might be is, is our perceptions of the car. If you perceive Benz to be the number one, then Benz is going to be the number one. And if you perceive Lada to be at the bottom, Lada is going to be at the bottom. It's your perception. And when you start to get an understanding of how cars are manufactured, um, most places we deal with what we call specialization. Yeah? So you have companies, they are engine companies, so they make engine. So a company that makes engine might make engine for Toyota, they might make engine for Benz, they might make engine, they might make engine for five, six, seven, eight, nine different model cars. And then when you buy the, you buy the engine and then you take it to your place and you assemble it, you might just put your brand on it. So I don't think that one car is much better than the other. It's just our perception. When you look at the electrical component for years most of the electrical component in cars were made by Mitsubishi Corporation so you'd buy the things and then you assemble it so I don't think that a car per se is better than another car I think what makes a car good apart from our perception is how we take care of the car when we get it most persons you'd buy a car they've never ever read the manufacturer's recommendations one of the basic things in, in a vehicle for it to run good, you have to service the vehicle and you have to service it on time. Most people don't service their vehicle. We're, in Jamaica, we're not that, that culture to service vehicle. And if when we do service it, we don't service it on time. And then lies the biggest challenge we have, the vehicle is not being serviced on time. And we said this, that this one is not good, that is not good, but we don't service the vehicle on time. And if we do service it, when we do service it, maybe we use the wrong things in it. Not what the manufacturer recommend, but what we think we can afford. And so the problem or the challenge is not that the car has a problem. The challenge comes from we, the person, create the challenge in the car. Because when you get the car, it is working fine, you drop it in the pothole, you hit out something, you don't fix it. One link, thing leads to another. So sooner or later, the entire front end is not working. You don't service the transmission. You drive it for, for years and you never service the transmission. And the transmission go bad and you complain that the transmission is not good. But if you are servicing the transmission on time, you would not have a challenge with the transmission. And if you are servicing the engine on time, you won't have a challenge with the engine. So it's not that one car is good and another car is bad. No. The challenge has all to do with the person operating the car and the information that we get and, and what we believe. And anything we believe, that is what is going to happen. So if I believe that a particular vehicle is not good, then that vehicle is not going to be good. And if I have that vehicle, I'm going to have that experience where I'm having challenges because it is unto me as I believe. Most things we know when we realize we are just ignorant. And ignorant is... is, is, is um, what what we do and so we give the wrong information to other people because we don't really know it for ourselves 
and we, and, we, and we are sharing information that we don't really know. So just sharing with you that there's not one car that is good and one car really bad. No. And, 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 and sometimes the car that you say good and the one that is bad, both of them hinging might be made at the same place. So just to share with you this morning, just to share with you, um, most things has to do with our perception. It has to do with our, our knowledge. Well, our, our awareness, how aware we are. Just to share that with you so it can help you, your decision, your buying decision when you're going to get a car. So just to share that with you. Thank you for allowing me to share with you.